stuck in St. Louis, a family not allowed to board their plane, all because they say their child is autistic and cannot wear a mask. Good evening to you. I'm Lauren Traeger. The mother says she was shocked, but the airline says there's more to the story. News 4's Jenna Ray explains in a story you'll only see on News 4. Everyone was so nice and, you know, the ticket agent there even gave us a pre-boarding because he looked at my son um, and, you know, noticed. And then um, a lady from TSA came and got us and she's like, no, you come here. We're going to get him through. This weekend, LaShonda Jethro was in St. Louis visiting family with her husband and 17 year old son, Trey. He's autistic. He has a hard time, um, so he's nonverbal. Um, but he's a joy. I mean, you know, I can't imagine our life without him. Jethro says flying with Trey is already challenging and masking adds another level of difficulty. He will not keep a mask on his face. We have tried and tried. He just won't do it. The Jethro's were flying southwest and had no issues flying into Lambert Airport. The airline does have exemptions for masking, which includes passengers with disabilities. The passenger or guardian has to fill out this form, making a request for exemption. In addition to having a doctor's note, we get to the door of the plane and the flight attendant is like, no, he can't come on. He got to wear a mask. I got my phone out, pulled out the doctor's letter and she's like, well, no, this has to come from corporate and you have to do this before you get on the plane. I'm a nurse. I understand this pandemic, you know, um, he's fully vaccinated. I'm fully vaccinated. My husband's fully vaccinated. I even tried to show that. After going back and forth with the airline and after calling News 4, Jethro says they finally were allowed to board. But when they sat down, LaShonda herself was asked to get off. And then here comes the manager again. She's like, I need you to come with me. I'm like, for what? I need you to get off the plane. I'm like, okay. Is And my husband's like, well, do we all have to get off the plane? She's like, no, you and your son can go, but she has to come off. Southwest sent news for this statement. It says LaShonda was asked to deplane after a conversation with flight attendants and not complying with the mask mandate. I talked with a spokesperson on the phone Sunday who says LaShonda wasn't wearing her mask at a point during the conversation with the attendants, but said he couldn't tell me any more specific details. LaShonda, though, says she always wears a mask and says she thinks it's because they called the news, something the airline spokesperson also disputes. I don't know. I'm just still so in shock and just so amazed that this that this happened, you know. And it's like, what else can I do? You know, I don't know what else to do, but call corporate and, you know, what do we need to do to make sure that we're doing the right thing? In St. Louis, Jenna Ray, News 4. And the Jethro's are still in St. Louis tonight. They were rebooked on another flight, but their luggage and medications are now sitting in the airport in California.